Today we're going to be discussing power meters and energy monitoring technology. Smart power meters give you access to real-time energy usage for single phase and three phase power measurement. They communicate over different mediums and protocols like Modbus RTU, RS-485, Modbus TCP, and Ethernet cabling. Energy meters are compact, DIN rail mountable, powerful, and flexible for many different kinds of applications. If you have any questions at any time, please enter them into the chat box. I'm Maria Limoni, our sales manager, and have Robert Morale from our technical support department with me. Later in the training, he will show SCADA software for power and energy monitoring. We have a wide selection of power meters that communicate over various protocols, including Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, CAN protocols. Our Modbus RTU units can communicate up to 4,000 feet without a repeater. Our Modbus TCP units can communicate over 300 feet without an Ethernet switch. Our CAN units can communicate over 100 feet without a repeater. Our power meter support input types including kilowatt, kilowatt hours, and power factor. They support current measurements up to 1,000 amps. You can use other vendors' current transformers with our power meters for measurement over 1,000 amps. This here shows you what we're going to be talking about today, including power meters, showing a, a web page dashboard information with the power information. We're also going to touch upon solar monitoring, data acquisition, power generators, local HMIs, and also SCADA software. ICP DAS was established in 1993. Our headquarters is located in Shinshu, Taiwan. ICP DAS USA was launched in 2001 to support the North and South American markets. We can do systems integration and programming projects as needed. We have over 200 R&D engineers and work closely with them to add new features to our products, develop new products, and to provide free technical support and demo programs. Most of our products are ROHS compliant, which means they're lead free. We have our ISO 9001 certification, which ensures we meet product statutory and regulatory requirements. Data acquisition is the process of sampling real world data and the conversion of those samples into digital numeric values that computers and controllers can understand. A temperature measurement can be gathered by a thermocouple sensor attached to a data acquisition module that is connected to a computer or controller. The temperature measurement can be displayed on a monitor attached to the computer or controller. With other data acquisition equipment like relay or digital outputs, you could trigger a fan to be turned on based on temperature levels. Our smart power meters are data acquisition equipment that provide real-time energy usage data for single and three-phase power measurements. They are communicable over Modbus RTU, Modbus TCP, and CAN bus protocols. We also provide protocol converters and gateways for communication with other systems. Our power meters are really compact and are flexible for many different kinds of power monitoring applications. They also support NIST traceable calibration. NIST is the National Institutes of Standards and Technology. Calibration is a comparison between a measurement and another measurement that is a standard in regard to accuracy. To improve the calibration quality and have re results accepted by outside organizations, the calibration and subsequent measurements can be formally established as traceable in comparison to a standard. Our NIST calibration traceable certification was done by National Standards Laboratories. Our power meters have many input types, including kilowatts, kilowatt hours, and power factor. They have relay outputs on board so you can turn equipment or lights on or off based on the power data. We have different versions that support up to 1000 amps. Current transformer, abbreviated as CT, are used for measuring alternating electric currents. Current transformers isolate measurement instruments from high voltage in monitored circuits. A current transformer allows the production of a reduced current, which is accurately proportional to the current in the circuit. It can be connected to measurement devices like smart power meters. Data from smart power meters can be logged with data logger devices. 
our PM3310 series support bidirectional measurements and support input currents up to 1000 amps. They support onboard data logging. Our PM3310 supports up to 1000 amp measurements, supports bidirectional measurements, and can be used for electric power monitoring and load recording for single phase or three phase systems. It communicates over Modbus RTU protocol, can be DIN rail mounted, and supports operating temperatures between 0 to 60 degrees Celsius, which is 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Bidirectional power meters are just like standard electricity meters, but are designed to measure electricity flow in two directions. When you install grids connected to solar panel systems, you need a meter that shows how much energy you've consumed and also how much energy you fed back into the grid. Setting up power meters is simple and easy with the free Power Meter Utility software tool. It allows you to set the connection settings like COM port, timeout period, meter ID number, baud rate, and IP address. You can also see the status and real-time power measurements which show the connection settings are correct. Power meter data logger devices like PMC5141 allow for logging and displaying of data from power meters. They have a real-time clock so you can log the data which can log time and energy. PMC5141 comes with a 2 gigabyte micro SD card for logging information. They support up to 16 gigabit cards. They can log data from Modbus RTU devices and can communicate back to SCADA or other Modbus systems. With power meter data loggers, you can predict power demands and manage and store power data. You can create different users that can log in through a web page to see the data and different users can have different permission levels. It has two Ethernet ports and a Windows CE operating system. PMC5141 supports up to 16 Modbus RTU based devices which don't all have to be power meters. The PMC series power meter data logger units have a VGA port and a web server so you can display information on a monitor or connect to it remotely through a web browser to see data from power meters. You can configure different rooms which have power meters in them and you can see the data, the real time data. You can also see demand and predictive demand information. You can daisy chain power meters over RS-485 to the power meter concentrators and can log the data on the micro SD card in a CSV data file. You can send the data logs back to a computer or server automatically over FTP protocol. You can get the data over SCADA software through Modbus TCP protocol. You can also monitor the data through a web browser from a PC or a mobile device. PMC5151 and PMC5141 can be used with other Modbus devices and can trigger outputs based on inputs. They can log data from various devices and can send the data back over the cellular network with cellular modems. They support if, then, else type logic rules that are configurable through a web page, so no programming skills are needed. PMC5151 comes with a 4 GB micro SD card and supports up to 24 devices. Power generated from solar panels can be monitored with current input boards, voltage input modules, and data acquisition equipment. Photovoltaic systems use solar panels to convert energy from sunlight into electricity. Solar panels are connected to power inverters which put out a current signal. Our current input boards can take that signal and put out a corresponding voltage based on the current data. You can pass the voltage data to a controller, PC, or data logger for displaying and manipulation of the information. Generators can help provide electricity when critical systems like elevators, fire protection systems, lighting, Medical and life support equipment cannot be without power at any time. We're helping with getting data from many RS-485 and Modbus RTU type generators communicated over Ethernet and Internet so the power information can be monitored so the critical systems will be up and running as needed. 
Control and monitoring systems can incorporate data acquisition modules for taking measurements like energy generated from solar panels, wind speed, vibration, and temperature. They are then real mountable for easy installation and communicate over various protocols and interfaces like Ethernet, Modbus TCP, RS-485, Modbus RTU, Wi-Fi, and Zigbee. Touchscreen controllers can be used with power meters and data acquisition equipment for local monitoring and control. They are programmable in C language and ladder logic. They're easy to use and come with free HMI works, development software, and demo programs. We have 2.8, 3.5, and 4.3 inch touchscreen PLCs available. They have resistive high screen resolution displays. Some have a real-time clock for scheduling operations. Some support power over Ethernet so they can be powered by a power over Ethernet switch, PoE router, or PoE injectors which we also provide. We also provide wireless networking equipment like Zigbee, RF, Wi-Fi, cellular 2G and 3G equipment for wireless communication between computers, controllers, and power meters. Protocol converters and gateways allow for conversion of one protocol into another for communication with other systems for interoperability. We have many available including Heart to Modbus, BACnet to Modbus, Profibus to Modbus, J19 to Modbus, CAN bus to Modbus, and Internet IP to Modbus. We provide free easy data logger software that you can use with power meters and data acquisition equipment for setting up a control and monitoring system. As long as you have one of our ICP DAS Modbus devices in the network, you'll be able to use other vendors' Modbus devices with Easy Data Logger. You can send text messages or email alarms out based on conditions like power consumption, temperature, or tank levels. You can also log data from a web camera or trigger outputs based on inputs. You can log data, see the data on a graph over time, or see a graphical representation of the data through gauges buttons, or through the display. The free version supports up to 64 I.O. tags and an advanced version is available. SCADA software is more advanced than Easy Data Logger as it supports animated graphics, web publishing for viewing the system through a web browser or smartphone, supports customizable report generation, allows for making more customizable pages, and supports multi-languages, so you can change the language of your system with the click of one button. I will now pass the presentation over to Robert for a demonstration of energy management with IndieSoft SCADA software. As we transition over to Robert, I want to mention some of our company benefits include customized product and OEM capabilities, low lead times of just three to seven days, and personalized care. We provide industrial products at competitive prices and keep up with the latest technology. We offer free technical support and offer a wide variety of modular solutions that meet many different kinds of application requirements. Go ahead, Robert. Thank you, Maria. Um, this SCADA software uh, called Indusoft works with our power meters uh, through a Modbus TCP, Modbus RTU, or other type of connections. Um, it supports many types of drivers, including uh, CAN and Modbus and Modbus RTU and Modbus TCP. It's a tag based. The standard version comes with 1500 tags and can support 200 power meters. Uh, you can display voltage, current, kilowatt hours, and power factor as some samples of data. You can also control the relays uh, using a simple control or logic uh, with through scripting in Indusoft software. Indusoft is a third-party software that again works with both our devices and third-party devices so if you connect our power meters to Indusoft you can also control and monitor through your PLC and control lighting and other aspects uh, using the software as well with your other devices in your existing network. Using Indusoft if you say for instance have an application where you have a building automation project you need to create a much more vivid screen and grow the project you can easily expand upon it by 
adding more tags, adding more screens, and creating new graphics. <clears throat> Depending on how much time you spend on graphics, you'll get a much, much better project. This project right here is a very simple project. It simply shows the voltage, current, and kilowatt hours from a power meter, but you can easily expand upon it <clears throat> and create something much, much more vivid. Um, does anyone have any questions? This is the design environment. It's very much drag and drop and uh, like Visual Studio. Let's see. This screen right here is again part of the demo. Let me move this over. Okay, this screen here shows a warning and trend curve and you can add and subtract uh, different uh, aspects whether it be voltage, current, power factor. Uh, we have an alarm page which uh, displays like overcurrent, over voltage, or alarm conditions that you define in your project. <laughs> um, <let's> see, <clears throat> This one shows an ODBC connection if you want to connect to a database. <clears throat> and this is again the main screen which will graphically and visually show the status of the power meter and its uh, readings and calculations. And you can also again control the relays uh, by using a button on the screen or through logic and you can visually see by using tags the status of those digital outputs. Okay, um, any questions? Power Meter is a very straightforward device. It does work with any Modbus TCP or Modbus RTU uh, SCADA package, but Indusoft is uh, one of the ones that we you standardly and we would be happy to share this demo with you if it makes it easier for you to develop your project. Okay, Shakar is asking to please show the previous screen. <clears throat> uh, which one was the previous screen? The alarm screen? Maybe just run the project and then show them all. Okay, sure. I don't have any connections right now, but we should, should run the project. So you'll see question marks because there's no valid data uh, to show, but you can see the pages and uh, you can transition between the pages. Like for instance, you'd be able to control the relay here. I'll show some of the other screens. And different users can have different permission levels, so you might have an operator which might only be able to see things, and then you might have an administrator who could clear the alarms and send reports. Okay, if there's a specific screen Shakar wanted to see, please let me know. I'll transition okay. to that specific page. He said he got it. Okay, awesome. Okay, well, um, thanks everyone for coming to the webinar. I hope we can help you with some projects. Please feel free to contact us anytime, and after the webinar, I'll also send you the slides. And um, if Robert, if you can send me that uh, demo, I can also send that out to everyone, along okay. with a link. I'll send links to download um, Easy Data Logger, HMI Works, and Indusoft, the things that we talked about today in the webinar. Okay, um, thanks and have a great weekend.